Hi, I'm Sarah Jagger and welcome to Mummy Makeover, the show where we beautify busy mums. We know that you have your hands full with tiny tearaways and don't have as much time to spend on your hair and makeup as you used to. That's where we come in. Gary France is a top stylist with hairdresser Tony and Guy. He'll get to work on your hair and I'm a professional makeup artist. I can make you beautiful. Meet Sean Cancia. In the morning, she has just five minutes to spend on makeup. Her favorite makeup product is moisturizer. And the facial feature she most dislikes is her eyes. Sean, welcome to Mummy Makeover. Hi, Sean. Hi, Sarah. Sean, tell me about you. Well, I'm a 22-year-old mum. I've got a little boy called Charlie, who's just turned a year. I'm living in Stanmore. Recently graduated from Sussex University and I'm freelancing for a parenting magazine at present. Why have you come to us today? What kind of image change did you have in mind? Well, I'm feeling really mumsy and frumpy. Um, I think my hair is in need of a major boost. Well, I, I don't think that you really are allowed to feel mumsy and frumpy at the age of 22. I know. It's just not <laughs> I feel about three times my age. It's awful. Well, the first thing that I noticed when you came in is that you have this incredibly thick, beautiful hair. Do you see any changes there? Do you feel brave enough to have any cut off? Yeah, I'm definitely up for a new hairstyle. I'd love loads of the weight taken off. It's just an absolute nightmare. Um, I just want my hair to have a real boost. So when you leave today, what kind of image do you have in mind? What do you think you're going to look like? Well, hopefully a lot less mumsy, um, just more glamorous. Just, and I'd like to feel better, that's the main thing for me. First thing I'd like to do is introduce you to Gary, so you can start talking about hair, and then I'll do your makeup afterwards. Great. Gary, I have a mum for you. This is Sean. Hi, Sean. Hiya. Now, Gary, Sean has this amazing, massive, thick hair that I think that you need some styling tips for every day use that are quick and easy and low maintenance. I'll let you guys chat and I'll come and see you later. Thank you. Okay, Sean, so what do you feel is the main problem at the moment with how you're managing your hair? It's just really, really thick, um, which just makes it so difficult. It's just out of control because of the thickness and I just can't okay. stand it. Okay. Well, my solution for to that would be really to go through and really establish some, some more um, shorter layers, something a lot more internal that's looser that will reduce all that weight for you. Are you quite keen to, to keep it long? Would you like yeah. to keep some length in it? Yeah, I'm quite happy to keep the length. Yeah? Um, okay, and I think that will work really well if we can sort of work with a longer length that will take a lot of this weight away. Yeah. That will re-energise, it will kind of, uh, and again it will be low maintenance. If you don't want to do anything to it, you know, that's possible. If you want to, if you feel you're going out and you want to work with a brush and style it out a little bit more, that will also be great. Um, and the other thing I notice is you've got some really nice warm tones in here of colour. Um, maybe we could just refresh those again and kind of give it a nice, yeah. healthy, shiny, warm glow to it. So we'll, we'll think about that a bit later on. What we're going to do now is just uh, get your hair washed and do a nice little scalp treatment for you, just to get you really relaxed, and then we'll go through and start combing. Great. All right. So, Sean gets a rare chance to put her feet up and settle down to a nice, relaxing hair wash and scalp massage. A little bit of colour is rinsed through to revitalise the colour that's already in Sean's hair. Let's start by really finding out about the natural fall of your hair. Do you go fairly central? Yeah. Right. Okay. We'll, we'll work with that, so that means you can wear it pretty much anyway and it'll always balance up for you. I'm going to cut into these layers a bit just so we get a little bit more texture on the ends, a bit more movement through the ends. How often do you get to just sit and do nothing? Not very <laughs> Not often. Lot. Nice treat. When you're the mum of an active one year old, this is very much a treat. Gary is cutting layers into Sean's hair to remove some of the weight. A gentle blow dry, and the final hairstyle is revealed. Gary, I want you to talk me through this because you've kept the length yeah. but you've taken out body is that right well what we did was um, 
The main, the main problem was the thickness. So what we've done is reduced all the weight out of the hair, but still kept a lot of natural volume and natural mm. energy in it. The main thing is that she can uh, manage it herself really easily. I mean, we've used words like low maintenance and tying and things like that. So all we did here was we laid it through and then we just rough dried it um, or power dried it with, with the fingers quite roughly. So you just get a really simple, natural look. It's and it's tussled. Just, yeah, it's exactly. Great. And it's really modern and fresh. And you know, even if she wants to put it up, it's no problem. She's still got all this hair to do that with. And it just falls a lot softer around her face and her mm. eyes and everything. If she wears it down, she's just got a real nice, simple, casual look. So Gary, Sean didn't have a fringe before, is that right? That's right, it was just very long and heavy around her face. Yeah. And part of the, the, the sort of brief was to really um, bring out her face a bit, a bit more. We worked on really softening around the face quite a bit. Yeah, it's quite rock too. Yeah. Um, the, the colour to me looks similar to before, but maybe slightly less orange, is that right? Yeah, we put a colour rinse through it, like a, almost like a, 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 a sort of warmer tone, and just picked out all these uh, previously sort of low lighted areas mm. and it's just freshened the whole thing up so again as a quick kind of makeover idea it works really really well and you can do that in between um, the different colour stages. Well it's great Sean. what do you think? I think it's fabulous thanks very much. It's been my pleasure. We've given you new hair now I want to get you into the makeup chair so we can start on your makeup. What I'd like to do is I'd like to really bring out the colour of your eyes because they're quite green and I've noticed that that colour has come out a little bit more since the colour in your hair has been refreshed. I'd like to do that using plums, topes and plums. So it's not over the top, but your eyes will be the most intense part of your face. I find the best thing to do is to actually spray your skin with water first. Just close your eyes. Now what it will do is just help to open up the pores so they can absorb more moisturiser. I'd like to use a foundation to even out the redness in your skin. I think I'd like to use a compact, um, just because I know how little time you have, a compact's going to give you coverage very, very quickly. So the areas where you are most coloured are obviously on the cheeks, like most of us, and the chin. That's the area I want to concentrate on and I can just blend out over the rest of the face. I'm using a stick concealer. Use your fingertip to blend because it has the lightest touch. Can you see that on the outer corners of the eye, there's this little area of darkness there that tends to bring the eye downwards. If you conceal that, it lifts everything up. These are light reflecting shimmers. They bounce off against the light, bring out any areas that you, you put them on, like your cheekbones, for example. I'm using the back of my hand to make sure that I really do only use a tiny little amount. It shouldn't be noticeable as a shimmer, but what it will do is give your skin this natural looking glow. Now, even though your skin is a little bit on the more dehydrated side, I would like to use some powder because powder will make sure that your concealer stays put. What I'm trying to do is just make the arch of your eyebrow come out. Okay, so I'm using this quite neutral, torpy colour all over the eyelid. Now, I'd like to use this deep plum, plummy mauve colour around the lashes and this is what's really going to make your eyes look super green and really contrast with the colours in your hair too. So I'm using this small, quite stubby brush. I like it because it's an alternative to kind of eyeliner effect. Gives that instant smokiness around the lashes. And just make sure that the top of the lashes are well blended in. Just gonna use this tiny bit of very, very sheer lilac right on the inner corner of the eyes. I think this is a good trick for you because it will really widen the